certainly we are all pretty well, well fans of the silent greats actually and particularly uh with sean the sheep i mean the the crew were actually watching pretty well on a weekly basis i think we did for, the silent for, for several months before uh, it's great uh, yeah i think it was thursday lunchtime we always had a different silent comedy on there mm. we bring our favorites in and it's really valuable i mean they were they are just as they say bloody brilliant um and they still stand up today so that when you're doing that very physical comedy you just want to learn from the greats um and actually, Feathers McGraw was very interesting because Steve Box, who was Nick's collaborator on The Wrong Trousers, was given the task of finding the physical character of this little penguin. And he spent, I don't know, several weeks trying to work out how this character was going to move. And he eventually came to the conclusion that the less he did, the more evil he was. And he does very, very little indeed. And it reminds me, I think it's a matter, a matter of life and death, isn't it, in, in the sort of heaven scene, is it, where Massey stands up and he does, he's, before, he's being God, and he just stands there with huge stature, does absolutely nothing. Um, and it's sort of that same sort of principle. But I mean, that little, little, very tiny bit of black plasticine is evil personified just by the way he blinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, we always reference Buster Keaton. I mean, it's, yeah. it's constantly a, a reference point. 